up sauce gang and welcome back to the channel hot sauce beats her with a banger and educational reaction for you because in a nutshell has officially dropped the paradox of an infinite universe now this is probably something else that's gonna blow my mind and, and, and run me down rabbit holes that i don't understand and, and they just confuse me but this is how you learn fam you, you watch in a nutshell and you learn some stuff and the universe is infinite and it's so confusing but before we jump in this, can you show in a nutshell some love by subscribing to their channel and fam? We're trying to get to a quarter million subs. So if you haven't yet, please smash that subscribe button and join the Sauce Gang family. But enough talking, let's get to reacting and roll that bomb ass intro. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Eat, sleep, make beats. Eat, sleep, make beats. Hot sauce beats. Woo -hoo. Oh, what you got? What you got, bruh? Is the universe infinite? infinite? Does it have an edge? And if so, what would you see if you went there? Nothingness. Today, we know that the universe had a beginning 14 billion years ago and that it's been expanding ever since. But something time, that's expanding Chad. should also have an edge, right? Well, it sort of does. Information can't travel faster than light. That means that we can only see parts of the universe whose light has had time to reach us in the last 14 billion years. When we look outwards, what we see is a sphere centered on us, the observable universe. But it gets a tad more complicated. That's because crazy the if you think about it. Expanding, we There's know stuff that, the that you can't see because the light hasn't light gotten us yet. Are actually 45 billion light years from us right now. So the observable universe is a sphere with a radius of 45 billion light years. It contains Fish. around 200 billion galaxies, each with hundreds of billions of stars. So, for us, there is an edge. We're looking at the past <laughs> so until crazy. there is just no past left. This edge is really more like an edge in time and, in a sense, meaningless. The real universe is for sure bigger than what we can see. For sure. But how much? I understand that. There are two options. Either the universe is really big but finite, or it's truly infinite. A finite universe means that if you want to fill it with ice cream, you can do it. You need a lot of ice cream, but it is a finite amount. But that leads to a big problem. Such a universe should have an edge, a cosmic wall where space ends. <laughs> you just ran and into the if wall. there's an edge, Dumb. there should be something Dumb. outside that edge. But the universe, by definition, is all there is. So how could there be stuff Don't outside? Oh no, all there you're is? screwed. Does the idea Gone of forever. something outside of everything even make sense? Except, of course, there is a physics hack. You can have a universe that has no border, but that still could be filled with a finite amount of ice cream. What if the universe is truly finite? Imagine an know. orange and a really tiny ant. The ant can only see a small piece of the skin, just as you can only see a small chunk of the that universe. Sound, that sound, but if the so ant suspicious. starts walking, it will eventually walk around the whole orange and be back to its starting point. So the skin okay. of an orange is not infinite, but it doesn't have a border. The universe is not like the skin of an orange, but it could be very similar. Instead of a sphere, it could be a hypersphere, where We're 3D orange, space Chet. is you heard it here itself. Which is impossible for your brain to visualize, unfortunately. But the point is, no borders, no out. You're not wrong there. A lot of this stuff, dude, these, concept, these concepts are just like so complex. So much madness going on. It's hard for me to side of the I truly understand from our human ant perspective our whole 3d space is like the peel of the orange if you were aboard a spaceship flying in a straight line like you would peel. eventually come back to earth how does any of this make sense the actual physics is hard so we have to simplify and lie a bit here but in a nutshell it all boils down to gravity the way it works is that mass creates gravity by bending space-time this bending is the strongest where the mass is, but sort of stretches on forever, like a very mild tension in the fabric of space-time itself. This could bend the whole universe in a way where it bends back on itself, which then makes the hypersphere. If you find this confusing, we're with you. If the universe happens <laughs> Thank to be you. A I don't feel alone. how could we find out how big it is? On Earth, we can Magic. see things disappear below the horizon, and that helps us calculate how big the Earth is. Scientists tried to find some sort of universe horizon that would reveal the scale of the cosmic sphere, but didn't see anything. Which means that if the universe is a hypersphere, 
it needs to be so big that from our perspective, it looks like we're living on a flat surface. For this to make sense, a hyperspherical universe should be at least 1,000 times bigger than our observable part. It could be a trillion okay. times bigger for all we know, but not smaller than that. Some scientists thought all of this is way too straightforward and came up with a wilder option. The universe could be like the frosting of a donut. A hyper donut, <laughs> also impossible Delicious to visualize for your and brain. sugary and sweet. This too means that if you travel in a straight line, you'd get back to where you started, but with fun complications. In a hyper donut universe, there's not the same amount of stuff in every direction. If two spaceships fly in different directions, one could get back to the start way earlier. This also means that light from faraway galaxies would do fun and confusing stuff in a sort of cosmic hall of mirrors effect. We could see faraway things in two places, but not just that, we would see it in different moments in time, because its light would have taken much longer to travel in one direction than the other. You could see a star being born in front of you and see that same star die on the opposite side of the sky. How big would such a hyper donut universe be? Well, because of its strange geometry, actually this is kind of the smallest possible universe, potentially just a few times bigger than the observable universe. But it could also be way, way bigger. We don't know. Okay, so much for finite universes. But what if it's infinite. truly infinite and space goes on forever? I think it's just what forever. Like? Forever! What if the universe is truly infinite? Here's the option Actually, I like, Chad. the cosmological model used by most scientists describes an infinite, infinite universe. We mostly use it to calculate what happens inside our observable chunk, but if taken literally, it predicts an infinite universe. An infinite universe goes on Billions well, of galaxies forever, with billions with no of planets. Anywhere, also forever. Also impossible to visualize. Wherever you look, you'll find more and more stuff in every possible direction. This kind of breaks our brain a bit for a few reasons. First of all, if the universe is infinite, is it also eternal and has been there forever? Was there a time when there was I nothing it's everywhere growing forever, and right? then there was something everywhere? Well, we don't know, but we have a lot of evidence for the Big Bang, so it really seems like the universe started at some point in the past. But wait, since the Big Bang, the universe has been expanding. How can an infinite thing that's everywhere become even bigger. Cosmic expansion just means that the distance magic? between galaxies is, is growing a big magician? Time. Even an infinite space can become bigger. Welcome to the paradoxes of infinity. Infinity gets much weirder though. As you travel with your spaceship in a straight line, you find new galaxies, stars and planets, new wonders, new weird stuff, probably new aliens and, and new life forms age. stranger than you could ever imagine. But after a long time, you might find the most special thing in the universe, yourself. An exact copy of you watching this video right now. How can that be? Well, everything in existence is made of a finite amount of different particles. And a finite number of different particles can only be combined in a finite number of ways. That number may be so large that it feels like infinity to our brains, but it's not really. If you have finite options to build things, but infinite space that is full of things in all directions forever, then it makes sense that by pure chance, there will likely be repetition. Although just because something is possible, doesn't mean it will actually happen. Maybe the universe goes on forever, but only the boring stuff repeats itself endlessly. Maybe there is really only one you. But if the laws of physics are the me. same- I mean, I, I am, th there's no one else out there like me. I'm, I'm unique, you're unique, we're all unique. However, maybe there's another, there's a paradox and there's another universe and yeah. I don't know, Baby Yoda, what up, homie? Far away, gas could have given birth to stars and planets where primitive genetic information could emerge Sometimes from Sometimes these videos make me feel so dumb, chat. I'm not gonna lie, and I feel dumb. That evolved in really unlikely ways and eventually apes that learn how to create online videos. It happened at least once, so the chance is not zero. Have it again. Even if the chance of there being an exact copy of you watching this video right now is almost zero, almost zero is still a huge number in an infinite universe. Unfortunately, you'll never meet, because almost zero still means the chance is incredibly small. Earth as it exists right now is so unlikely, you'd have to travel incredibly far to find a second identical Earth. Some 10 to the 10 to the 29, a 1 followed by 100 octillion zeros, times the size of the observable universe. So far that it kind of Sheesh. means forever far away. 
Still, in a truly infinite universe, every combination of particles could reasonably so not just tell me there's a once, chance, baby. But an infinite number of times. So there actually might be an infinite amount of copies of yourself. All of them are living within their own observable universe. All Bless of them you. looking at the sky, never able to ever interact with each other because Bless all you. of you are so far apart. Maybe some of these versions made different decisions, fell in love with different people, took different forks in life. Maybe one of them has solved physics. Maybe another one is living your exact life but is wearing a funny hat. But if there are so many infinite copies of you, identical to you, who are you? Well, it doesn't matter because you are as real as real beings get if you exist infinite times or if you exist once. <sighs> it's time to stop now. While these scenarios are possible on paper, we've entered science philosophy here. Currently, hey, none of these ideas are testable or provable. If the universe is infinite, we will never know. The reality is, for us, That's the true. universe is How finite and an has an edge. And we can see the and that edge is our foreseeable or distance that we can the see. Edge, the edge in time. Everything we can interact with is within the observable universe. And most likely, this will stay true forever. Even if this finite universe feels small to you, it's more than big enough to fulfill all the dreams that we and our descendants can ever come up with. Infinitely enough for all of us. While we can't be sure whether the universe is infinite... Let's go, baby! We got our learn on! We got our learn on! You know, sometimes, chat, there's just infinite possibilities of us meeting our alternate selves on a near-distant planet in the near-distant future of eternity? I don't know. Bro, I feel like I learn so much and I'm dumb as heck when I watch these videos because there's such massive concepts to grab and to learn and just to try and understand when it's broken down like what it does it's crazy i like to think space is endless and it just keeps going forever and that's crazy thing about and it's crazy thing about that there's a billion billions of galaxies with billions of planets in those galaxies like if you don't think there's life other than us you crazy because there has to be but let me know what you guys think Make sure you show some love to In A Nutshell by subscribing to the channel again, fam. We're trying to get to a quarter million subs. So if you haven't yet, please smash that subscribe button. Join the Sauce King family. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And remember, it's eat, sleep, and make beats. And as usual, we count on another. That's all I got. Boom, I'm out. Come on. Give me love for the Sauce King. Peace out, chat. Boom.